I'm Jacqueline Allen. It's a bitter pill to swallow. In Colorado, if your car gets stolen and then it's found, you could still be on the hook for hundreds or thousands of dollars to get it out of impound. This is an issue Contact Denver 7 has been exposing, and we found a new legislative push to solve this problem is now hitting roadblocks. Kicked while they are down. It's not our fault. Somebody steals it, and then, and then you got to pay for it. It doesn't make sense. Their car's stolen. Shouldn't be like that. They're paying hundreds or thousands just to get them back. Colorado crime victims keep contacting Denver 7, including State Senator Rhonda Fields. This has happened to you? Yes. I'm a victim of auto theft. Many of my neighbors have been. I've talked to many, many people who have been victims of auto theft. She's co-sponsoring a bill that would require towing operators not charge crime victims. Instead, a statewide fund would reimburse tow companies for their costs. The bottom line is, if your car is stolen and it's no fault to your own, you shouldn't have to also pay for these extensive fees that are associated. And in some cities, you don't. We found in Denver and Colorado Springs, crime victims fees are waived at city owned impound lots. If your car is stolen and it's found in Denver, do you have to pay towing and impound fees? You do not. But year after year, efforts to set up a statewide fund for crime victim towing costs have hit roadblocks. We're going to go back to the drawing board. State Rep Meg Froelich is the bill's other co-sponsor. She thought they'd found a creative way to pay by charging tow operators for every tow. But this fiscal note came back showing it would still cost the state more than a million dollars next fiscal year. This week's hearing had to be canceled to regroup, but the fight isn't over. Is it dead for the year now or is it coming back? I sure hope it's not dead for the year. I think we have some, we just have to get some really sharp pencils and uh, in the room at the same time because there is pretty widespread feeling that this is not right, it's an injustice, and we need, do need to bring relief to crime victims when they turn up at an impound lot. Now, the bill also added some new protections for crime victims, such as better notification requirements and a database you could go to to help find your car if it is found. Those would be less expensive measures, but they could still save people a lot of money, so we will keep you posted as this bill progresses. For Denver 7, I'm Jacqueline Allen.